What's going on guys? Sid for the win here. We are back with our franchise mode as the Vancouver Canucks. Yes, our record's different. The whole division's a little bit different. LA Kings did terrible. Um, I, I'm not too sure what happened. It's like, it, I didn't even save it. It's on the last save point, but I could have sworn I saved it. I might have just misclicked when I ended it. So that's really stupid, and I was actually a little upset about that. So I had to recreate everything, moving Gianta and Elvinus out the same way I did. And then we just happened to do a few wins better and a few losses better. Six six difference on the losses, to be exact. Just a bit crazy, but whatever. I'm still going to make the same trade. So I don't care that our locker room chemistry is better. I'm still going to make the same trades as we were looking to make. So, yeah, I'm going to just keep going how we were going. Ignore the record right now and not, not just roll with that because... I don't know, that's bullcrap. I could have, I don't know. I feel like something weird's going on with, like, the, the my system or the game. But I might just miss, because it's, like, on just the last save file. I don't even know. It's weird. I could have swore I saved it. I don't know. But whatever. Uh, so, yeah. All right. So, the couple trades we we're looking at making was looking for Meyer and perhaps um, Latang for the top six. And people are saying pull the trigger on both of them. And I could get away with doing Latang. If uh, I give him a lot of, you know, special teams time. So that makes a lot of sense. So Meyer, I want, yeah, he did have one year left. So that's good. Okay. I just wanted to make sure of that. So we could do Meyer and I want to add in Shishko to that. Cause I still think he's not doing great. Uh, it doesn't matter if he's still, if he's doing better. He's yeah, he's sa same trades. Okay. So we're going to do that and then try to take back some of their picks that we could use for value to move up or something like that. So I want to try to get to that third, but I don't think that's going to work. I'll try it, but I, I, I highly doubt that works. I'll probably just have to take some later picks. Yeah, there's no way no way that's going to work. Value just not good enough. So I'll try to get as many, many of these garbage picks as I can, like a four, five, and a six right here. I don't think that'll work, but it might since they want to give all those up. They don't want Shishko, but I'll try that. A four, five, and a six with Meyer for Shishko. It actually worked. Okay, maybe I could have got the seven, but whatever. Uh, that's good enough. So... That works. Alrighty. Some people might lose a bit of morale. That's fine. Quality player. Okay. And then what? They're not going to say we gained a quality player? Okay. <laughs> Apparently, what's his name is a quality player, but Meyer is not. Um, I don't want to do sub in all lines quite yet. Although, he pro I probably do want him in the power play. Let me see. We'll see. We'll put him on the third line. Don't worry. He's only 84. He's got a bit of the morale thing. Um, he should be fine come the, as he improves here. Okay. So what was he just special teams? Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, well, who else am I going to put there? Realistically, Sarah sure, but nah, well, shot power wise, maybe Sarah would be the better option. Honestly. Yeah. You might, yeah, it might actually be the better option for the point there. Although, well, when I make the yeah, when I make the trade, what's his name is going to go there anyway, so it doesn't matter who I put there right now. It's not going to matter. So this actually makes sense. We get a bit stronger defensively, but then we're also going to get a better defenseman for the top six, who can also play some nice uh, power play time. And Meyer will just help boost up de defense for that third line. Yeah, and he brings some physicality, in. and he's still decent offensively. He's not like he's bad offensively. He's not, you know, maybe quite as good as Shishko was. He's close. But, yeah, Shishko is also pretty bad defensively. So, Meyer brings that extra bit to the table. He's just more well-rounded for a third-line role. And he's got a pretty good contract. Well, I mean, it's probably... If we do choose to resign him, it'll probably change. We'll see if we choose to resign him. Saranaima might be the guy who fills that role in the near future as other guys move up. But, uh, whatever. We'll see what happens. All right, now we're thinking about getting to Mello. And we got to go after Latang. So, here we go. Alrighty, let's see here. So we want... Oh, they, now they don't want to give up Latang? Whatever, we, we still got to try to go for him. Yeah, I still got to try to go for him. I don't know... Whatever. I'm, I still want to try to go for him. Alright, god damn it. I hate when like that thing's different now too. That, that's really frustrating. So okay, we'll throw in that. Now we could try to throw in picks. And they'll have to be higher picks... And we'll try to switch back. Oh, damn it. Now they don't want it first. All right. Well, I'll throw, probably throw in a first and then try to take back later picks. Yeah. Like a second. That won't work. I'll probably try to get a third. 
another third. Then I give you some trash picks to make that go through. And if I use trash, oh, I don't have a second. That's unfortunate. Hmm. I could try second from next year. But we do have a lot of these later picks here. All right, if we throw in the third, we, first we can get the third, but that's not enough value now at this point. Now the fact, the fact that they don't want to give up Latang, that makes it even harder. All right, well, what else did we have? Let's see here. Let's see the skaters that they want. Um, that's about it. I need all these guys. Why are they? Okay, that's weird. Yeah. And <laughs> they should be, a, they should want like rebuilding pieces here. Uh, they're still supposedly a contender. I don't know. All right. Well, hold on a sec. All right. So I was just checking to see if uh, someone had made some other comment about what I should go for in this one. But yeah, I might just have to do some pick swapping here. Like I do have a few thirds, but no, I have one third. So I have a couple fours, a couple fives. I could I could throw in some of these later ones, like a four and a five. And I'll throw in ours since we're not going to be as good. We'll throw in a four and a five here to try to move get this third. And we're adding in the first. So yeah, we're losing we're we're losing out on the first, but we don't necessarily need like the top picks anymore. Like someone was saying we yeah, uh, we have like a lot of good top players, top sixes, elites. We need more role players of the future now, which kind of makes sense. So yeah, trying to improve our team for the playoffs. Uh, does make a lot of sense, especially with how they're going. And giving up that first won't be a huge blow. It, it always sucks giving up a first, but we're getting a lot back in return, especially now that he doesn't want to be given up from Pittsburgh. So whatever, what can you do? So we're trying this. I, I don't think this will work, but I'm going to try it anyway. Give him DeMello, get back Latang a third, and also giving him a first, fifth, and a sixth. We'll try that. Not quite. It doesn't matter the block needs, yeah. So, in this case, it might not even work. I'll try to throw in that four now, but in this case, it might not work because now he doesn't want to be given up. Hmm. Yeah, this is actually pretty sucky. We can, I can hold on to all those later picks, though, and just save those, move them in the draft, and throw in a lot more, like a first and a second, but that's craziness, but I'll try to get back a second. That's not going to work at all. Yeah, this... Ah! Uh, why did that have to change out of all the things? Oh, all right. Well, this seems like crazy overextending, but these, oh yeah, I don't, I don't even think we can get them at this point, to be honest. I, I don't think we can get like, look what I'm giving up. I don't think it's even possible to get the guy. I could even try it straight up to mellow in a first for Latang, And I still don't think that'll work. Yeah, that's, I don't think this is going to work now because it's because they simply just don't want to give the guy up and there's, and there's no one else here. Fuck me, man. Ugh, I hate this. I could have swore I saved the goddamn game too. This is piss. This this bugs me now because now I have to look for like someone else who can produce offensively and is for the top six role on a rental deal. CC doesn't even produce that well. Got no. Latang was the perfect thing, and now they don't want to give him up. That's <sighs> that sucks, man. Yeah, there's no one else I could go. I could. I can get. I already looked through all this crap. I'll look again, though. I might do some editing. All right. Well, to be honest, I I can't find anyone that is close to him. The closest person I found was like Bolu in Montreal, but he's like got higher value. He's on the block, but it just it doesn't make as much sense as Latang did. And you know what? If they're not on the block, I really can't. I really don't have enough value to get him because you have to overextend when they're not on the block. So. I do apologize. Unfortunately, that's just it's just not gonna happen. There's there's no one there that would make sense to even move for. Uh Latang was the one that made the most sense, and now he's not on the block, so I can't do much about that. So we're just gonna have to continue with these guys. A super defensive bottom six and hope they don't get too trashed, which they shouldn't. I think like I said, the main reason they're minuses is because they're both they neither of them really help it with the scoring. Which yeah, it would help a lot with uh some of our bottom pairing, but you know what? <laughs> What can I do, man? Uh, 
Whatever, I don't know. <laughs> it's the price I pay for incompetence, I guess. I could have swore I fucking saved the game. Whatever, though. So, Maltby hasn't grown at all. I doubt we're going to get, like, too, too far in the playoffs. We'll have to see how Maltby does anyway. But, yeah, I wanted Latang to, like, help out, help that out. So, now, it, that also puts us in a predicament with the power play, too. Because I wanted freaking Latang here. But that's not going to happen now. Whatever. All right, so... He's actually got a hard shot. <laughs> so, all right. So, we're going to leave in uh, Elvinus here for, until the last few games of the season, basically. So, we're just going to roll with that one trade, Meyer. Ugh, this sucks, man. I wanted Latang. But they, I literally can't get him if he's not on the block. That's just way too much value. All right. So, we're just going to have to keep going here. It's pretty silly, too, because there's no way Pittsburgh most likely is going to make the playoffs. So, I'll sim up. Yeah, I'll sim up here to the 31st, and then I'll put back in Gianta uh for the for the remainder of the games um and then that should get him ready for the playoffs because i think he's who we're going to go for for the playoffs i would rather i mean we could always switch him out but he'll, he's who we're who was going to start in there no i don't want vertanen traded him off for a reason get out of here all right so let's see what's going to happen here i think our team should be still decent i mean we didn't mess up the chemistry too much we just traded shushko and i think Meyer's a way better fit for that third line anyway so We'll have to see what happens here. Even if we lose a bunch, that's fine. It'll put us back on track as where we were in the previous video anyway. So, all right. Yeah, I'm not happy about Latang not being able to get that trade because that was I was actually pretty excited about that. Well, what can you do? All right. Um, right. Let's go to here. I have to do three weeks there. All right, watch this. We're going to lose a shit ton now. <laughs> no. Uh, we're just... We're back on top of things, but yeah. I'm still, I'm, I still think the top six should be okay. It's just, I kind of wanted like a puck mover there. That's how you get like really good plus minus in every category. You got to have like a defensive guy and a puck mover. Or if it's the top pairing, you'd have a puck mover plus an offensive guy. Cause they're going to score. They're going to be out there a crap ton. It all depends on preference. You know, it, it's sometimes it just depends on what you get. I mean, you don't want to go out of your way to like change like a defensive guy to a puck mover, unless there's a big problem with them which it can happen, but yeah, I mean, look at us, we're, we're actually killing it now, oh uh, yeah, so we already finished first in the conference by, we still have a bunch of games left, and we already, <laughs> it's so silly, all right, <sighs> whatever, man, I'll just roll with it, I gotta make sure I save it, though, this, I could, I, I don't know, I don't know, for some reason, I feel like I did save it, and the game's fucking with me, we're probably gonna win the presidents now, this is crazy, all right, so we'll move out Elvinus. Yeah, I know. He's, he's up to an 83 now, too. But what's he looking like? Yeah. Pretty decent. How many games played? 41. 16 points, 41 games played. So that's not as good of a pace as he was on last time, either. So let's move him out. Put back in Gianta. And we could always uh, we could always swap him for in, in the playoffs if we feel like Elvinus might do better. We can try it out and see what happens. So do Gianta, and then I'll have to... Interesting. Why didn't he get automatically... Oh, did I not do substitute in all lines? Maybe I didn't. I thought I did. Oh, well. So, just put Gionta in there. But, I think I'll have him on the wing for the power play because I don't think his shot's all that hard. It isn't. So, yeah, we'll put Serenaimo back on the point. And Gionta on the wing for the power play. Alright, yeah. We don't have the strongest second power play unit, but what can you do? This is a very good season. Even even um, even if we had our old record, it's still been... This is like an immaculate season, which is a bit weird. But even with our old record, that would have been a really good season. We're easily going to finish first... Well, not easily, but most likely finish first in the division. Okay, all we got left are B places, so... We'll do a little, little bit extra for that, because it is a B. So you want to maybe go a little bit longer there to hope you can get a bit more scouted. But yeah, we're not going to hit 20 regulation losses probably <laughs> for the whole season now. Last time I was saying don't hit it before the deadline. And now we might not hit it for the entire season. That's actually stupid. Oh, wait, we might do it. No, 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 they didn't do it. So 53, 19, and 10. That's a little crazy. And by a little crazy, I mean, yeah, that's way better than it. Yeah, we also won the president. So, so we're going to have a lot of morale here at least going into the playoffs. But uh, I would have preferred the old record. I'm not going to lie. If I could have got Latang, I would have preferred the old record. But shit happens. Just got to roll with it here. Ugh. All right. So Hutton led our team in points with 66. 
Actually, not a, not a big point total here. Yeah, we we scored not at that much, but actually led in, led the division, but it's not a huge amount. But our goals against fucking killed it. Yeah, two point two three. So Maltby had a tremendous year. Power play not the strongest, seventeen point nine. Penalty kills okay enough. It's actually kind of bottom in our division, but it looks like power play is weaker all around this year. So all right, home record twenty nine eight and four, away record twenty four eleven and six. Last 10, 6, 3, and 1. So, yeah. Definitely was doing a great job here. But, yeah. Crazy in the point totals, man. Good draw. Oh, my God. Horvat and Berchi. What? Oh, they really slipped off. Yeah. Now, Goudreau leads in points. And Berchi and Horvat really fell off. Then we got no no 50-point scores on the second line. <laughs> Best of Sarah and Imo Kemp. Kemp really brings them down, I think. Yeah. But we're gonna see how they do in the playoffs. But yeah, he's you didn't even he's not even a twenty goal scorer with those numbers. Besser Besser was fine. That's that's okay. But yeah, uh, the other two not so great. All right, but let's see how many. Okay, Elvinus. Yeah, Giotto only got thirteen points in forty one games played. Elvinus got sixteen and forty one. So they got equal amount of games played. And yeah, point totals definitely varied here. So, I don't know. Maybe we go with Elvinus for the playoffs. He seems to be doing slightly better. I kind of want to give Giancha the chance since he's growing. But we'll, so, we'll start with him. But if we we know we have Elvinus there to go to if uh, things aren't looking great. So, that's one change we can make. I mean, come on, man. The Enforcer got more points than you. Granted, he, you know, played the entire season. But, <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, Hutton had a great season. 66 points. Hamilton, 51. Yeah. Our defenseman got a shit ton of points. That's what helped us. So, yeah, tactically, we didn't need a point. You know, we didn't really need a puck mover here. Like, their plus minus, their plus minuses are through the freaking roof. So, it's kind of okay for the top six to be minuses because they are, you know, quote, unquote, the shutdown guys. But, although this wasn't, you know, who's to say these point totals would have been anything like that in the last, in the alternate universe. All right. So, yeah, Malby, great season as a starter. Almost got 40 wins. Tremendous personal stats, six shutouts. Like, yeah, that's that's filthy. And Pumanov's, oh yeah, he got above and beyond what I need out of a backup. Yeah, like, yeah, he got what, 28, 30 points in 24 games played. So, yeah, we got two great hot goaltenders going into the playoffs. So that's good news. If one of them falters, we can always throw the other one in. But I don't think uh, we'll necessarily need to, oops, I should keep checking that because we need to do... Uh, all the all the stats. All right. Okay. Now let's see here. All right. So Tavares looking like he's leading the league in points yet again. Fifty goal season, ninety six uh, points total. He's the leading goal scorer by the looks of it. Oh yeah, by by a long shot, by eight. All right, and how, the assist man was Adam Henrique. All right. <laughs> Pretty good. So that's just let's just do. Oh, excuse me. Let's just do forwards here. Plus minus was Coco. Okay. On the Rangers. Uh, power, wow. 22 power play goals for Tavares. <laughs> How, who's, the, who's the clutch guy? Taylor Hall is a clutch man. And Berchi's right behind him. All right. So that's good news, Berchi. Let's hope he can do that in the playoffs here. Is that it? Yeah, that's pretty much it. All righty. All right. So defenseman. Let's see here. Oh, man. Ty Smith got really good in this game. Yup. <laughs> wow. Okay, so 79 points for uh, Ty Smith. I've never seen him get that good. Uh, yeah, that's... Oh, yeah, that's 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 the freaking Norris by a long shot. You can get the plus minus. Yeah, that's, that's no contest, man. Hutton was tied for fifth with Ekman Larson. They were weren't even really close. His plus minus was better than his, but that's about it. All right, goaltender-wise, I think our dude has a pretty good chance. I mean, it's not going to be a great chance. Tetra Demko, 72 games played, still pretty mediocre stats, man. So, good on you, Devils. <laughs> uh, yeah, so he got, a, yeah, sure, he got a lot of wins, but look at that, man. Those stats, pretty bad, man, for what he does. Especially when you look around him, like, a heart 88 overall, it's gotten those stats. Anderson got those stats, like, yeah, I think we made the right call. Even Maltby. Sure, he's got less games played, but he's almost got, yeah, really good amount of wins. 
So Hart most likely gonna win the Vesna. Might be in a close second though. So that's good news. Oh wait, Corpus Salt. Is that enough games played? 54. I would say that's not enough games played to get the to get the Vesna. I don't think that's enough games played, man. I'm just gonna come out there and say it. Holy shit, who had 75 games played? Jesus Christ. Fred Anderson. That's insane. Yeah, I would say, I don't know. I would, like, 54 games played, that's a lot less than a lot of these other guys. So, I don't know. It, it'll depend. We'll have to check that, but I still think it should go to heart right there. All right, let's see about the rookies. Dillman. All right, Rangers uh, product looking like he's going to win that Calder Trophy. Esteban right in second. Thomas and that Chichu guy. There he is on the Oilers. We're, I know we we're, I think we we're looking at him. Yeah. Uh, Wyatt Bear. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Sorry, we had we have in Montreal. He didn't nest, didn't always do that good. <laughs> you know, he was close in that overall. I think we got him to like an 81, 82 with that HL potential. It's not so bad, but he's not going to get much better after that, but most likely. All right, and I think that's it. Yeah, our Gianta is like way down here. Did he play enough? Yeah, I think he did play enough games to be qualified for a... Yeah, probably qualified for a rookie. Whoops. Whatever. I don't really care about Galders. Go rookie goalies. Unfortunately, our, our guy doesn't qualify because he played last year as a backup. Oh, wait. Maybe he does qualify. It says he... Okay. So, I... Oh, yeah, because he only played... Yeah, okay. I guess he only suited up for a certain amount of games, so I guess he does still qualify as a back or as a rookie. So I think Maltby might have a chance to win that Calder. I know it's a goalie; they might not get. But those stats, you cannot deny those stats. Is that better than a sixty-point season? Are those goalie stats better than a sixty-point season? That's close. I don't know. I don't know, man. Dillman. It might still go to Dillman, but Dillman is in the race. All right, Dillman and it in Maltby that's a race man you got to consider that like that's fantastic man it's his first year as a starter his, his rookie year too he's got 60 games played the guys who have as close to as many games played as he does had crap stats like look at that those are insane stats man six shutout oh my god that guy's eight shutouts but his stats are terrible what the hell he might have just been on a crappy team what the hell does he have eight shutouts <laughs> all right whatever yeah man I don't know, Maltby, he's got a chance there. I'd say he's definitely got a chance. All right, so we got took a look around the league. Everything's looking pretty solid. We didn't have too many point scorers here, so that's one thing we got to keep an eye on in the playoffs. Can we score goals, man? We have a great record, but it's going to fall down to our goal scoring here. We have a lot of goal scoring on the back end, so we'll see what happens. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. All right, guys, so playoffs will come up in the next video. Taking on the Nashville Predators, we have home ice advantage. So we'll have to see if Maltby can hack it in the playoffs and see if everyone else is, see if Horvat and Berchi are ready to lead a team to glory. All right, guys, so I will see you in the first round.